Okay, now I'm going to do a breakdown. So you start out, you buy this guy, or you talk to this guy. Kill some zombies over here as much as possible. Then you want to maybe probably try and buy that and then buy this. Once you got this, at least this top gun here, you're pretty much styling. That's good. Or even this AK is decent. And then you want to buy dynamite from there because it makes it getting through here easier. You want to start buying tracks. Buy tracks and then blow your way through here with dynamite after you're... Like you have to buy it first until you get to here and then once you buy it, it'll blow you backwards. Then you throw dynamite at it. Let's explain everything in here. So these are mechanical part or mechanical guns right here. You just need to kill zombies to get these mechanical parts. And then this right here will give you more mechanical parts the more zombies you kill. This you can trade your mechanical parts for gold. This I'm sure you can already figure that out yourself. Fishing just gives you fish. Now this guy, you might not want to grind this, but I don't know if you're going to beat the final boss because the guy with the hammer kind of kills you. So we started, we did this first, and then this, and then we up did, our, uh, did our health all the way to the top to beat the boss. And then, but that's like a little bit later on. But we, that's what we did to beat the boss because he, he, there's a hammer guy that if he hits you once, he kills you. It's kind of tough. And the, the, one of the best things you can get is the slurp cannon because it's like you never run out. So this is really good to have right here. I'll show you where to get all those other mushrooms there later on in the thing. Um, you want to do this right away as much as possible because it gives you money just for you just standing there. This one right here, this is just to sell your mats. Like you don't want to really do that though unless you need gold real bad, but you probably need mats more than gold. This you can buy mats. This right here gives you, um, so you want this one for sure, and this one. Those are for sure you want. Because when you're farming, you'll get way more wood. And when you're farming, you'll get way more malachite or spectrolite, whatever one that is. This I didn't really care about. This right here, all this does is make you get more metal out of here when you, uh, when you put stuff in here, which you do definitely need metal. This is just farming right here. For stuff that you need. Uh, this is farming wood. So once you buy your way to here, you set an explosive, it blows this wall, then you throw dynamite or you can chop your way through here and you just keep buying off of the floor. The floor will have tracks and you're laying tracks as you go. Right here there's not really anything. You can sit in here and, and farm while healing. In here, the, in there, there's not really anything but farming. Just keep buying the tracks. You won't have the rail right away. You'll have to do that after. Then you come talk to this guy right here, and he'll tell you to kill um, a snow, like a, um, a zombie, and he'll spawn right here, a blue guy, and you want to kill him. Then you want to, I'm pretty sure, come either talk to him again, so when you talk to him, he'll let you buy these things. But don't forget to look up in the top left corner of your screen because sometimes you have to go back to the beginning to talk to that other guy. So make sure you just read what it says. How many more do we need here? 33, um, 37, I'm gonna buy that. These, these, this is your damage, that's really good. And this gives you more loot for killing zombies. This, they're both really good. Save these, don't, don't, don't sell those, save those. This is really good for killing zombies right here too. So then you keep buying your way through here, buying your track, buying your track, buying your track. Again, then you'll set an explosive, you'll blow this. Then you'll blow, throw dynamite or whatever to get through here. Then you'll keep laying your track, laying your track, laying your track, laying your track. Keep laying your track, obviously. And then you'll get to the water over here. Then once you get it to here, then you uh, just press that water pump. Then you go down here and you can farm spectra spectralite. You'll need lots of this because you have to turn it into... Wait, what is this again? 
Uh, this is Omalakite, so you have to turn it into Spectrolite later on. So just keep, you need to farm this a lot. See, I'm getting extra. That's because I bought all those in the beginning that I showed you where it said the up. It said Spectrolite up. You want to buy those because every time you pickaxe one time, you get extra. And once you've bought your way through here, you'll probably have to go back and talk to the guy at the beginning again. He'll give you new missions, which will just be the same thing going the other direction. There's nothing going left. I think they're going to add something later on going where that guy is. See where that guy is? I think they're going to add something else up there later. Then you come this way and you start buying your way this way. You blow the wall, blah, blah, blah. Then you come this way, come this way, buy yourself over the bridge. Pretty sure when you get to here, you, you can't come here first. You have to go do the water first. And you keep going, blow your way through here with, with dynamite or whatever you can to get through it. Now, when you buy these, these are good. I think you have to buy all these, but they give you automatic mats, so they're fucking kill, because if you're going to stay in here for four hours, it's good to get as much mats. They just give you ran, uh, extra shit, right? So now you want to unlock these. I don't. Even, oh, yeah, we got full speed already unlocked. So if you put this in here, it just gives you metal, so you just fill the, the furnace. Now you got to dump all your specter light and metal into these ones and then wait for it to turn into Malachite. No, you have to dump your Malachite and turn it into Spectrolite. And then the, then you got to talk to this guy. Then you have to go back to the beginning, and then you have to come back and talk to this guy and get your chainsaw, I think, if I remember correctly. Then you have to start putting wood, which takes forever, and metal in here to get wood planks. Now... Just hold your trigger down. Don't just shoot your fucking saw blade and shit. Just hold your trigger down. It goes way faster. Because your mats and your guns and your everything save, your best bet is just to go AFK one day and just farm and then just come back and do it again the next time so it's a lot easier when you have all your shit. That's what I did. And again, these are the mushrooms. You need mushrooms for the... Um, for the beginning part where I showed you where to get the slurp cannon and all that shit. Is this guy beefing? What's the beef, buddy? Kick it. Kick rocks. Where'd that guy even come from? So then you keep building this direction. Keep building this direction. Build your pillars. Build all this shit. Then you'll get to... Wait. I don't actually know if you build this first. Yeah, you don't even, you don't even need to build this first. You want to build along the floor here. So you build these ones. And you want to turn this generator on, turn this generator on, then you turn this generator on, and this generator, and then you go up here. Oh no, oh shit, I fucking died. <laughs> I'll go back there. So after you get your generators turned on, then you gotta come back, I'm pretty sure, and talk to this guy. Every time you gotta come back and talk to this guy all the time. Come back and talk to this guy, come back all the time, it'll tell you to do that shit. And then we go back to where I just was. This is going to take you a really long time. I doubt you can mm -hmm. do this in the one time, like play it one time and do it. I don't think that it's possible, but never know. So once you've built down there to your generators and turn them on, then you'll probably have to go back to the beginning, talk to that guy. And then it'll give you, I think you have to go talk to that guy first too. So don't forget to go talk to this guy too. There. I'll go show you this guy. And get your scythe too, because the scythe is pretty fucking key for farming. Uh, get your scythe. Monster Hunter, what does this bitch got to say? Purple room and get Malachite. Yeah, got it, thanks. All right, fucking beefing with me. So once you build this direction, then again, you gotta unlock your generators. So there's one generator, come, you got to keep building around here, and there's one generator there, and one, I think there's one over here too. Yeah, one there. So you just build along the floor on both sides. Then you hit this button, and it'll bring everybody in your lobby into here. And then you got to fight the boss. I'll post the boss fight after. You just pretty much got to avoid shit. You, if you have this, and you just jump around the whole time, and you got your health up, you don't even need your damage, because I didn't even hit the boss one time. I didn't hit nobody, so I just stayed alive. And then once you do all that, down to the pretty much last thing here.
then you just build along here over to here build along this get the key because after you beat that boss over there you'll get a key and then you open this door and that's the end the amazing end where you should be able to um, farm crystals but you can't for some reason wait there was a big crystal here before and it's gone now weird that's weird yeah it's gone now remember that one that one solo crystal maybe that guy broke it there was a big crystal there oh shit i feel like i was inside of it there whoa i'm inside the crystal chippy chippy yo I'm inside this crystal as you can tell i'm hella tired because we've been grinding the shit out of this game mode I probably sound like I'm high as fuck, and actually I am, but like I'm still just like tired. So, but this is pretty cool. This little cave. They should have like given you something though, like um, like a, a a contrail or something, you know, so you can go flexing on people. Like you, your guy should have like something, but right. like maybe like a crystal hat or <laughs> some shit, some sunglasses or some stupid shit. They got lots of stupid Sounds hats like lately. Yeah, that'd have been dope if you got something, right? Or just a crown, anything. Yeah, crown, anything, yeah. It's just so people are like, oh, how'd you get that shit? Fuck. That would have been pretty fire. But I guess there's only like 100. I guess there's really only 100 or so people playing this. But this game mode might catch on. You never know, you know what I mean? Because uh, yep. you never know. So again, I'm going to show you. You definitely want this. This is, this is something you want to grind for. You want to grind these. Damage doesn't matter nearly as much unless you're farming, uh, unless you're farming zombies. But this is the one that, that, this and that, right there. Those two things. And this one we did first just because it made it easier to get these two, but those two things helped a lot. And anything else? That's pretty much about it. That's, that's a rundown on this shit. If you got any questions, hit the comments up.